what you're looking at here is the cover image to my new single, The Music of Eric Zahn, which is based on the short story by H.P. Lovecraft. Um, I took that photo, and I, it's just a house near where I live, and it, I thought it kind of captured the uh, essence of, of the story pretty well, and so I figured it went well with the song. Um, the song's the first track I've recorded for my upcoming album that I'm still in the process of working on called Tales of Wonder and Dread. Um, and I wanted to kind of give you a little bit of some insight into the creation of the song, what went into it. Basically, I was trying to um, emulate the story, which talks about a viol player who uh, basically keeps for forces from out of this world, perhaps out of this uh, universe at bay, by his playing, which is supposed to be maniacal. Well, I tried to do maniacal fast playing on the keyboard, but when I did that, I wound up with something that didn't sound like a viol. So what I did instead was uh, just do things that were kind of uh, discordant with each, uh, each other and notes that didn't seem to go together a lot of the time and just trying to create something otherworldly in and of itself. Then there's also another track that's designed to be the forces. It's uh Sounds like some sort of demonic voices. Um, I've added in some sound effects to that, and also um, my voice comes over in what I could come across as the, the most unemotional thing I could do, and I've got some processing on it, just reciting a few lines from the story. And I'll, I'll give you a little bit of snippets here. You know, it starts off with the sound effects, and then the VL wrote rises up and then you can start to hear the voices come in I heard Zan every night and although song. he kept me awake I was haunted by the weirdness of his music if you move forward the voices and things start to get louder as it goes on Basically, the song is designed to be creepy and otherworldly, and it would be great for Halloween time, um, or just for anybody who enjoys the works of H.P. Lovecraft. I'm hoping it's a pretty good tribute.